Hi everyone. So today is going to be a quickie recipe. Okay, so this week has been really hectic for me, unfortunately, but I don't want to leave you without a recipe to try. And also these crackers are so good. I've been eating them a lot recently and it's so, so easy to make. So I'm dying to share with you. So let's do it. So I'm calling them five C crackers because we're going to use five different C's, okay? So the first C we're going to use is the pumpkin seeds. So these are unroasted and also no flavors adding to them. So just plain, plain pumpkin seeds. And then the sunflower seeds. These are just beautiful. And those are sesames. So I've got both white sesames and black sesames. So I think both of these are toasted. You can use untoasted ones if you want to, but these will make the crackers really aromatic. And on top of that, chia seeds. So we're going to add plenty of chia seeds in there. And also I'm going to add some herbs in my crackers. I'm using oregano. You can use other herbs or spices if you want to. And to bind these wonderful seeds together, we're going to add some psyllium husk powder. And alternatively, you can use either ground flax seeds or ground chia seeds. Okay, it's up to you. I'm using psyllium husk powder today. And then we need a little bit of salt on top of it. And this is it. This is all you need. And to make the cracker dough is super, super easy. I'm really not kidding. I'm going to just pop in all ingredients together and then mix. Okay, it's that easy. So I'm going to add in half a cup of pumpkin seeds. And then half a cup of sunflower seeds. And then my sesame. So I've got quarter of a cup each. So just pop them in there. Beautiful. And then quarter of a cup of chia seeds. And then I'm going to add in two tablespoons of psyllium husk powder. That goes in. If you're using ground flax seeds or ground chia seeds, add four tablespoons. Okay. And as usual, all the details is in the description below. And then with my dry oregano, I'm going to put in probably about two teaspoons. It smells so good. And now we're going to season it. So I'm going to add in about a teaspoon of molten salt. So molten salt is quite flaky. So if you're using finely ground salt, you probably only need half a teaspoon. And for today's batch, I think I'm going to add in a little bit of black pepper as well. So you can put whatever spices or herbs that you like or nutritional yeast um, to season it if you want to. Or the I say chili flakes as well. And now we'll just give it a quick mix. It's just a bowl of goodness here. And then I'm going to add in about half a cup of cold water. Roughly about half a cup. That should do it. And now just mix the whole thing together. So you can see the psyllium husk is starting to bind everything together. And make sure you mix it well so every seed is coated with the psyllium husk. So the chia seed will provide a little bit of binding as well. So if you're not using chia seeds, make sure you add a little bit more psyllium husk powder. So guess what? The cracker mixture is done. I did say it was easy. And now I'm going to just cover it with a towel and leave it to rest for about 15 to 20 minutes. Just allow everything to bind together properly. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes. Let's have a look. So it's looking good. So it should bind together quite nicely. And at this stage, if for any reason it still feels really loose, then just sprinkle a little bit of a sealing husk and that should be fine. Just a tiny bit. Okay, so here's my baking tray. I've got a really shallow tray here and I'm going to place a layer of baking sheet on top of it. And all I'm going to do is just tip my mixture onto the tray. With this size baking tray, I probably only need about half of my mixture. Let's see how it goes. And then just use a spatula to press it down and spread it on your tray. And just press it down and spread it thin. And you don't want cracks in them because they, they will become brittle. So either you can just use a um, rubber spatula and just press it down like this. Or you can place another layer of baking sheet on top. And then use a rolling pin or a glass and just roll it over. Okay, looking good. And it's ready to go into the oven. So we want to preserve all the goodness of the seeds. So we're going to bake it in a pretty low temperature. So I'm going to preheat my oven to about 150 degrees and we're going to bake it for about 30 
to 35 minutes. So you can just bake it all the way through and once it's done and you can just snap it in different size pieces. But I'm going to take it out of the oven at about 15 minute mark while it's still a little bit soft and then cut it into individual squares. So it's been about 15 minutes and the surface is kind of crisp up a lot but it's still a little bit soft. So this is a good time if you want to cut them into individual squares or whatever shape you want. So a pizza cutter would be ideal. I've got one with these blades that works as well. So you can cut them in any size you want. I'm going to cut them a little bit bigger today. So I'm going to just go in there like this, best I can. So just cut them into nice squares. And then I'm going to pop it back into the oven for further 15 to 20 minutes. So there you go, these are crackers. So you can cut them into mini crackers, but I cut them a bit bigger today because I've got this beautiful dip to go with it. And it's not a dip, it's more like a topping really. Look at this beautiful colour. And basically just avocado chopped in small pieces and mixed with some vegan mayo, a drizzle of olive oil and some salt to season. And you get this beautiful, beautiful topping. And I'm going to eat it with my crackers. So these crackers are perfectly beautiful to eat, plain, but you can top it with vegan cheese or any kind of spread you want. Look at this beautiful combination. Let me just take a bite. Mmm. <laughs> can you hear the crunch? It's beautiful with the dip or topping, whatever it is. And so easy to make as well. Mmm. It's so delicious and it's packed with nutrients. So there you go. Give it a try. Apologies, this is a quick video. So I hope you liked today's recipe and we'll give it a go. I and mean, these crackers are so good. So follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Um, check out my Amazon shop as well. It features all the regular ingredients I use for my recipes. So thanks for hanging out with me today and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And definitely give these a try and the topping as well. See you.